where this guy plays, but uh, Dead Man Dill, the resident in main. Yep. We're gonna find out. Oh, it's some you too. I feel like Dead Man Dill, if he just keeps playing Link, he's gonna be like busted. Because Link, Link gets busted. Are pretty good at it. I felt like in, in Smash 4, a lot of the time, like, his option select just wasn't optimal. Yeah. Like the down airs and stuff, like a lot of the time. Like, things like that are definitely gonna hold him back. He needs to, like, try to break some of those Smash 4 habits. Right. Alright, but we're getting right into it on PS2. You can still have stuff, but uh, sometimes you just feel like you're a shell of a character. Is after all still really, really good? Doesn't it do like 12% or something? Uh, yeah. It's it's uh, his down throw is not that good anymore, so it's just after all now. I think that link is a really he good could standing grab. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, he does. He has like one of the faster grabs. It's funny they took away the. The tether, and now he has a great grab. Yeah, and now he's just better than this. Yep. He deserved that, so that's close. Just S smash. It doesn't go anywhere. That's definitely not how it. That's not canon to the game of Breath of the Wild. If you, if you charge an attack on that bomb, that thing would go flying. Oh, yeah. I didn't really find myself hitting the bomb that often. Now, that was good. No, it's usually just throws. Yep. It should be like random, like Peach. Like every now and then, you should just get the square bomb. <laughs> you really should. Cool. Square bomb could do more damage. So. Yeah. Or not roll. It's like like the way it was in the game. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> like now he's just hovering. Yep. Using his psychic abilities to hold that bomb right there, right in place. So a gentleman jab. Not a whole lot going on right here though. Down tilt gonna convert in fair. It'll be negative. That's a down angle boomerang. In that was fair sneaky. Hit one. Yeah. yeah, fair one. Now, uh, is just a piece of paper, so you're gonna die extremely early. Yeah, that bomb will start killing in the next few percent. Yeah, absolutely. Now, we just have to look for dead man build and not go for any like super risky options here. Like, I don't get why bomb sent them in, but uh. Yeah. Watch out for the rogue there. The Link Nair is an insane move. Dill's bomb play has been pretty solid so far yeah. uh, throughout this match. It seems like he knows what he's doing when it comes to yeah. placing the bomb on the ledge and hitting it at the right time to like get the covers. Uh, we'll just kill off the side too, especially with a character as well as Mewtwo. So Mewtwo in air this game is like not as good. Yep. It doesn't combo, it doesn't like air to grab or whatever. Yeah, they get that in Pikachu. Um, it still like scoops people in though. And, but you have to actually like follow their DI with it. If you, if you like you can't, you can't try and drag them somewhere with it, because yeah. they'll just fall, they'll fall out of it. At least that's what I've noticed in the of character. Maybe up throw again. It's almost up throw time. I think he's a heavy boy though, so he's not going to die too early to up throw. Uh, yeah, I think it'll start killing sooner. I think it kills about 10% later. Or more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that up throw will might be worse right actually. Yeah, it'll definitely kill him. Either of their up throws will kill. We just rolled three times. Up throw. Could be back throw taking it actually. Uh, I feel like Dill should have been looking for a grab up throw like, way sooner. Yep. Because he kind of just did nothing and, and let him rack up the percent. But anyways, here we go, even game. Uh, I think that could have been boomerang to fair, but he didn't jump forward with it. Yep. Sometimes you just don't believe in it. He grabbed the arrow. You two holding the arrow is so silly. <laughs> he has it like sheathed on his thigh. Yep. Using it for a later date. Deadman Bill's not doing a whole lot with his stage control, though. It's like, besides throwing the bomb out, I feel like. The majority of his damage has been at the edge, I feel like. I'm so good. No follow up. He used that time to pull up his bomb. But he didn't get any more. He pulled the Smith, but with me. Oh, that's gonna do it. Which is very late. Down smash. Yep. Not a move you see off. Um, for some reason, half the crowd is changed to Kaza. I think he has like a carpool. Yep, so he has uh, three boys cheering for him, and they sound like the entire venue, I guess. Yep. Really not sure why. That's what we'll go with. Yep. But here we come to game two. Uh, more than likely, I think both these two players are going to stay the same. I think this is my first time commentary, uh, doing commentary for uh, Smash Ultimate. Yeah, it's a good time. Not too bad. It's here.
Well, I wouldn't argue against that. If you said it's here, I would say, hmm. Just like that. So it's gonna be the run back. And chops. Three, the score, two, one, go. All right, here comes Shadow Throw and Island coming there. Yep, a legend. I want to see Mewtwo use more F tilt because that move is kind of good. Now, I don't really understand this kind of thing. Um, you're playing a character with two kill throws, and you're going to go to the stage with the largest blast zones in the game. I know the side blast zones aren't that big. But, uh, That's the largest ceiling, I believe. Yeah, the ceiling, yeah. They're tired of people shepping about the town and ceiling. Uh, town and ceiling. <laughs> Being too yeah, short. I like town and ceiling better. But yeah, Mewtwo has one of the best up throws in the game. So I don't understand the stage effect really. But whatever. Here he comes. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. Gentleman Jeff. And that's, that's going to take the stock. That's like, really, that's really smart. Or something. Pretty low. You just have to be more mindful of the bomb if you're not so. Yeah. You have a reflector. It's such a nuisance to deal with because you can't. Uh, can, uh, he can decide what to blow it up. Yep. I really don't like that it only does 1% damage when I hit it. I think if you throw in the bomb at him, it should do more than that. Yeah, like a couple percent at least. I think what's really like messing up Kasa is like the floaty jump from YouTube. You really get hit pretty damn easy by that bomb. And you're like trying to jump back to the ledge. He's just not getting too much off of it, any strength that he can get in. I'm gonna do it. Read that double jump with back air. That's yeah. good. Yeah, YouTube's back air is actually pretty good in this game. I saw some people getting, uh, like the 16. Um, people are getting, like, down tilt into something canceled, like attack canceled back air. So he was looking for, oh, the T-back for some reason. He He's was looking probably, for uh, jab, jab, grounded up B. And then he just rolled and went for the grounded up B without any jabs, and he got it anyways. And some of the crap popped off in the T-back. So here he is. That's funny. It's up there. Punish that. Alright, that's cool. Using that after that's good. You know, get some good damage off of that. Good dash attack. I don't want to see if yeah, he needs to go for a moment. Yeah, you have to use stage control while you have it. So, and Casa is definitely doing that better than Dill. It's just Dill keeps getting really great bomb confirms. Well, conversions with bomb, I should say. Because they're not really bomb confirms. Facing the wrong way. I'm that link out of it. Could be it. Uh, should have been fair. Really, it's gonna be it anyways, it doesn't matter. Because Link's up B is kinda short in this game. But he has the bomb recovery, so. Oh, that, that's that neutral tech right there saved him. It's like, big damage. Back Speaking though, of big damage. We got an even game right here. We got like four hits from U2 and he's at 75. Kasa said, let me turn it on real quick, this last stock. Pressing the good button. That was good. He was looking for grounded up the right there. And uh, look here. Yeah, I think uh, Dill thought he was going to cross up with Dash Attack, but not many moves really cross up in this game. Alright, so he's using back throw pretty early again this stock, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see him pop for the up throw. Just the the have killed out of shield, I like that. Is that it? No, he should have dared him. There's been no reflector on the bomb at all. Ought to be something. He's dash attack, but he's not going to punish it, right? I wonder what he would that punish should that be up throw. It's going to be back throw again. And that's going to do it. I wonder how he should be punishing Mewtwo dash attack on shield. Maybe grab, right? Because he, like, he goes into your shield, but he doesn't cross up. Yeah. So it's just grab. I would say grab is probably pretty good for that. He hasn't tried to grab. Should just be up throw. Yeah. That's what it should have been, that's it. Now, if I'm Dill, I'm a little tilted. I taunted after I took his second to last yeah, stock that game. Yeah, stock lead. Like, yeah, that full, was definitely... Definitely a comeback on Casa's behalf right there. You know he's feeling himself going into game three. Look to see a counter pick on a smaller stage. Um, maybe Yoshi's. I'm not really sure. I know a lot of people don't like Yoshi's just out of preference. Smashville is another small stage. I think it's too early in the game to just like be like, oh, I think he's gonna go go to this stage. People kind of just pick stages. Well, I was just thinking like small stages for oh for Dill. Yep. Yeah, I mean he's gonna be looking to kill off the side. More often than not. So does Mewtwo though. Two, one, and he likes down smash. Down smash will kill off the top. Oh, that's true. 
he actually hits him with the uh, a zero percent link F smash. He didn't wait out the the down throw reaction right there, so he was able to air dodge out of it. Yeah, he goes for the link, uh, the light sword down smash or F smash. That would have been awesome. I want to see more links doing that. No, he was doing it. I wonder if it like combos into stuff. Casa, you have the reflector, my guy. You really gotta start using that. He's gonna get hit by an onslaught of projectiles in the last stage control for not reflecting anything. Yeah, he's making this matchup harder than he needs to be. Yep. I definitely think YouTube wins this matchup. You think so? Yep. I have no idea. I don't know enough about YouTube. And I do know that Link is probably higher than you. I'm just trying to think about the offstage game in particular. I know the meta is underdeveloped for like both of these characters, but Link's recovery is not like not amazing if you force him to outbeat. Like he keeps getting punished offstage in situations like that. It was good that Dill air dodged that time though, because he had a meaty back air for a stock last time. Combo is the what soft that? hit of bomb. And <laughs> that's gonna kill him off the top. 140 though. I guess that's earned. Wow, he ducks under. Dash attack. I'm gonna have that a uh, a right roll 133. Max distance of the back. That was the hard read. Expected the roll on. Yeah. It's gonna be fair not killing at 130. Back here will do it though. Look at this link out of here. Wow. So that's the second time in this game that he's gone for a low percent F smash after throwing the bomb. I don't know, maybe he knows something that I don't know. It must confirm or something. Either that or he's trying to go for fair and he's just not getting ready for it. This Mewtwo damage up, but no joke. Yep. Especially when you get like hit by a shadow ball at zero, and he confirms it to like dash attack and all sorts of stuff. Good parry on the boomerang. He's not punishing his dash attacks on shield. I think uh, he they, hasn't once punished it. I think you have to punish him with grab. Yeah. Or jab at the though. He did up tilt that time. Uh, Mewtwo is able to spot the jab there. Maybe Nair out of shield too. That'd be good too. Is Link's Nair? Pretty good move. It's like. It's like the nair that every character wants to have. A little sex kick. Yeah. But it's like, it just beats out shit. It's the fox nair from Smash 4. Yeah. And from this game, I guess. And the, the young oak nair. Yep. Up throw. Alright, we're gonna be looking for up throw next time, I think. The multi hit. The beat the parry out. Did he just walk into that and take it? Yeah, it looked, like, it looked like he shielded it, like, as it hit him. Oh, and like he, he stopped running and then he just. Let the shield take it. Alright, we got one stock apiece right here. This is game three. Taking that bomb back. Back throw. He has some stage control. He read the jump, but Bill was able to hit him with the dare. Yeah. That's something you gotta look out for against Links. You can't just be jumping into them when they're, when they're using their double jump to recover. I was trying to get tricky with that bomb. He just needs to go back to basics. Figure out what worked earlier this set. Good air dodge. Could have been in. A little gentleman jab, rack up to a small percent. Oh, that was a good down air. Landing there right there was pretty safe because he committed the dash attack. Be quite a close game. Really good to see a game this close on screen. Remember though, the Casa does have two kill throws. Oh, that could have been it. Get a dash attack, get a smash. Could have been a whole lot of damage that would have killed him that early. To the jab. That was a lot of damage just off the jab. <laughs> Yep. He burns the jump early, and he's not going to get punished for it. Let's see. Jill really has to knock over anything too risky. I know he likes to do jab, jab, up B. He might look for a uh, down smash, which can easily get punished for a throw kill. I really do hope the Mewtwo watches this pod so he can, uh, he hasn't unlocked side B yet. Yeah, no it's, kidding. Uh, <laughs> it's part of the DLC pack. That could be it, up throw, and that's going to do it. And, uh, yeah, Mewtwo, side B. It's a move. Mm -hmm. You really just need to start using that in the matchup. Not to say that it's like the best move for it's not that the end matchup. It's the end-all be-all, and it's like it's sometimes negative when you hit them with it, but like he was.